Good day, lords and ladies, and welcome back to Age of Free the Legend with me, Quantus Knight, as we get back into the campaign. Now, I have talked with the developers about why we couldn't teleport the dwarf hero, and it's not a bug, it's something that I completely overlooked. It's the fact that Soul Collector has a magical immunity ability attached to it, so once you give it to your dwarf character, he no longer is affected by magical spells, which means we couldn't teleport him. Which is not a particularly nice thing. You know? Let's get our people just to clear out the treasure hold. My power is yours. I do love we the maps in this particular stuff. game. And like, these are some of the best these are some of the best maps they've had in the Age of Fear game. Just like the whole idea of fighting over a wrecked treasure hold. So we've got a nice gold bar, a diamond, a shield of faith. Yeah, some good stuff. We'll destroy the cursed treasure chest because I don't want anybody dealing with that stuff. Open it right up. Another diamond. 400 gold and the end this purse and more and another gold bar. Oh, that's nice. For those of you wondering, um, I was given a hint about the endless purse. It's basically a. It's similar to some of the other items you get in the game. It basically generates a set amount of cash per day. And we can convert that silver bar into a gold bar. Let's get it open. Wait, what? Oh dear, it's a mech. Gilrock, the chest is moving. Screams Finn. What are you saying, lad? inquires Gilrock, absent mindedly, as a massive red tongue licks out. Gilrock! roars Finn in clear panic. Bassett, lads! roars Gilrock. Yep, so it's. It's a mech, that's not fun. Right. Now we can probably kill it with the werewolf. Pound on it a bit. We've got a diamond out of it. And a pearl. And some gold and a magical ring. Have to admit... Got to admit that these mimics in this game are a lot less terrifying than they are in, say, Dark Souls. The mimics in Dark Souls are horrifying. Right. So we've got a gold bar and the Sealed of Ages, which is nice. Got some decent magical equipment, which is and stuff I've never seen before, which is very nice. Also, the developers have told me I can talk to you about um, something that they have been developing. On a weapon's rack to the side was this absolute beaut of a dwarven weapon, the finest dwarven steel, inset with gold and gems. It was something keen, all right. Gilrock saw it in his eyes, sparked. It was his treasure. Um. Right. The gold twinkles seductively. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle. Rummage. He's rummaging. Finn is always rummaging. Lads, I ain't feeling good about this. If your brother isn't here, we c if his brother's here, he can have it back. But what if he isn't, declares Finn. If something unthinkable happens, it's not like we're sticking around. Just for safekeeping, alright, lads, check the pile. Yeah, basically, developers are, op are putting in an open world feature into the... into, um... A the original Age of Fear game, and it'll be... Really interesting. Ooh, the end purse suddenly swells with gold coins. You received 100 gold gold each day. So, yeah, they've been working on it for a while. And it should be interesting. Like, a much more open world encounter system for the first game. Sounds really cool. Allows me to tweak his moustache and insert silver into his incredible machine. A burst of steam later, and out shoots to go. The man turns, returns to his research. Right. Oh, well, that's that taken care of at least. Got the mermaid as well. We've got a pearl we picked up, so let's give her that. What did we get? 
and dive down to the bottom of the sea. We'll see how for me. And it's the Amulet of Chaos, so it's pretty much useless. I, have, To be honest, I don't have a problem with the Amulet of Chaos, it's just not something I find particularly fantastic. Especially, sorry, especially considering that it stops your mana regeneration. What happened to disintegration? I didn't buy it, did I? Ah, uh, that's not good. Um, I know the developers had put in a patch to f to do with something. And I have the feeling that they have taken Disintegration out of the mage. That's going to be unfortunate. I was really wanting to have that ability for Finn. I really wanted it badly. I can't see it in my stats, so I doubt I've bought it. Oh boy. Okay, this is going to be fun. I want to get dual wielding for him, really. Tesla gonna He can have double damage, which is nice. He oh, cause he he can't he hasn't got it yet. Just going through and seeing what we can get. Oh man. I still need to get him up to elite level. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. Nah, oh man, this is gonna be so annoying. Ooh, mutated plant. Okay, this mutated specimen of the swamp ivy. Sorry, this mutated specimen of the swamp ivy are mostly enigmatic of the plant creatures as their razor sharp teeth have been known to cut through victims' flesh like butter. And their brambly exterior makes some menacing plants to engage. Right. Yeah, magical immunity. Right, wolf shield. Do we want to give him a different shield? Shield of ages would be good because of the elemental resistance that he doesn't have. I don't believe he has magical resistance, but not elemental exist resistance. Pardon me. And killing blow isn't really that useful unless you're fighting an enemy that's particular. There are certain enemies where Killing Bow is useful, but I don't really like it. Though, to be honest, Holy Strike and Holy Strike doesn't really do anything. Me and Lay on Hands. And I can't see him with Elemental Resistance anywhere. 30% uh, movement speed, though. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, we'll give him the hand of the Seal of Faith, it will increase his health, lay on hands, and a bunch of other stuff, and now he's technically a holy werewolf. Which is uncommon in most settings unless you're playing the World of Darkness camp um setting where werewolves are like protectors of the mortal world from spirits and stuff like that. So the ring of magic, we don't need it. Hmm. Yeah, I, I just, I don't know. It's just I haven't really found the use for the amulet of chaos, unless you had an ability which allowed you to get mana back for killing stuff. Right, we can sell the diamonds. Healthy chunk of cash. Get 
him healed up because he's got a bit of a badly broken noggin. And he took flesh wounds, which is not fantastic. He's the first person that's actually been seriously hurt in this campaign so far. Make sure everybody has the necessary potions. I'll probably uh, I'll grab a golden apple as well, and we'll push on with the main campaign. Anything else we need? Not that I can think of. Right, let's see what's doing down here then with the dwarves. Their throne room was by no means grand or majestic. A small fort at the far edge of dwarven land. It's amazing they had one to begin with. It was a little bigger than the church hall, with a great old throne at the end of the room, and a ceiling so high it got pitch black about halfway up, it seemed. There he was, at the end of old Gilrock's long trek. His brother was there standing before him. It was almost regal. He stood before the fort's throne, proud and noble. However, he was a bit greener than Gilrock was hoping and just about as crazy as a drunkard with a bad idea, and made as much sense. Gilrock didn't take it so well. It might have had something to do with how he tried to kill us on sight. Uh-oh. Christ. What's this, Guardian? No one knows which Mad Wolf Tinkerer designed and produced these floating contraptions. Also, no one knows what the do he was drinking beforehand. The Guardian didn't need food or sleep. It was always ready to blast unwelcome visitors. Okay, so it's a floating beer, beer barrel with a laser gun? Laser ray? Okay. I'll pick one of them up. Don't see the use for them, but I'll pick one of them up. They seem a bit weird. We'll pick up a, uh, a rune smith because our other one is technically encumbered at the moment. And it's always good to have backup units. Plus, we have the money to spare, so it's okay. And we'll upgrade the the beer barrel. Make sure he has everything he needs. And he can switch out for the werewolf. Now, I'm pretty sure there was a dwarf that needed to get some more battle experience. Which one was it? Someone needed a noble trait. Was it him? Yeah, it's him. So we'll switch him over. Excellent. He can't have anything, but the engineers should be able to heal him. And let's proceed to the battle. Balin mumbled something incoherently. No, my dear brother, what by the gods has happened to you? Screams, well, roars, Gilrock. And Balin just continues muttering incoherently. Gilrock, save the union for later. We've got to do something a, a quick about the cannon. Right, so they got two cannons. Oh, this is going to be fun. Can he teleport Gilrock? Boy, this is not good. I'm going to see myself eating cannon shot one way or the other.
Yeah, it's not great. So I was just trying to think about how to deal with this. I suppose we could try and it's activate the Iron Golem. That might be our best bet to deal with one of the guns, but I don't think it, we've got any weapons that reach that far. And as always, the problem with teleportation is the enemy can just move out of the way and... Uh, uh, We'll try one tactic. I mean, if 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 push comes to shove and I don't win a battle, I can always just load at the beginning of the battle and try again. It's not a huge issue. Man, this is just going to be nasty. Because I am going to eat a cannonball the first round. I can't see any way out of this. I mean, I can try sending the werewolf in, but the problem is that you can't attack on the turn that the unit is teleported, so it may not go to plan. May not go to plan. Sorry, folks. I am. I can't do anything about the dog barking. Sorry about this, folks. Yeah. So yeah, there's not a lot I can do about that. Yeah, this is going to go badly. I've got a bad feeling about this. This is going to be one of these missions where you need to have a couple of attempts at it. Yeah, just, I, I just have a bad feeling. Yeah. Let's go and have an attempt then. Well, no. Can't do Gilrock. I wish I could move Magic Gilrock. Because he would be really useful, but we can't. That's not going to work. So we'll give him one of the other potions. Yes, master. My power is yours. Yeah, that, this may not be the best idea. The problem is that they'll just chuck units at the werewolf and tie him down. That missed. I should stop trying to teleport the werewolf because they'll just block your units. I need to chuck in a unit. I suppose the golems count as... The golems have the ability to destroy, destroy constructs, don't they? should have put all my people in a, over to one side away from one of the cannons, at least it would have bought me a turn. Yeah, I think I've, I think I've basically jinxed myself right here, folks. I have a feeling I've done something really dumb. Yeah, I should have deployed more to one side. I'm going to eat a cannonball now purely due to my own incompetence. Yeah, that was what I was worried about. Yeah, this is going badly right off the bat. And they did what I they did what they f I thought they were going to do with the werewolf. Which means that cannon is pretty much safe to shoot at me next turn, which is going to suck. Oh boy, I have a feeling that I've messed this up royally. Yes, master. I mean, that's not going to be that much use. I can't reach the golem. I 
can't teleport Gilrock, which is a person I need. Do you need my stuff? I could teleport one of the yeah. normal dwarf lords, but it wouldn't be enough. And I think that's a bad move as well. I do a couple of really stupid moves in this match. Well, in this match and this battle. The first one was sending in um, sending in the werewolf. I should have sent in someone like one of the golems. Well, that's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna put together where I think I've made mistakes. First one, I should have deployed all my forces to one side of the map. That would have given that would have given me a little bit more breathing room. Secondly, I sort of deployed no, no a unit that can move and attack rather than a berserker I'll unit that is unpredictable. Um, and thirdly, I sort of at least sent someone over to try and deal with the other cannon. Because at least that would have given me a little bit of breathing room. Yeah, I, I'm i not confident now, folks. I think I've royally screwed up. The problem is, no matter how many of these units I kill, the cannons are literally going to be demolishing me. Yeah, I, I should have sent the golems. Say, I think you're big enough, do ya? Hopefully I can um, draw the cannon's attention away from me, but I don't think it will work. Yeah, I get a feeling we may lose this battle. I don't know, I just have that gut feeling that we're either going to lose this battle, or it's going to be such a... Um, I can never remember the term. Um, Parrick victory? No. Um, Pyrrhic. Pyrrhic. It's going to be such a Pyrrhic victory. Um, it won't be worth winning. We'll lose most of our of our yes. decent units. I mean, I don't mind losing like one or two units in the battle. That's fine. But if we re if we lose like this entire group and we only have the heroes left, it's yes, gonna really fine. suck. I'm small but heavy. That hit. Yeah, I mean, this isn't going too bad so far. Until that. And there goes those two units. That's not great. And I still have no way to deal with either of the cannons. Yeah, I made a mess up. I messed up really badly. Um, uh, yeah, I should have focused, I should have sent units that could move and attack, because now the werewolf is too far out of position to do anything, I can't hit him with a re- I'm considering, I am really considering taking his sword off the character for this battle, the really good sword, giving it to the werewolf, and giving and giving the um and giving the dwarf the execution of the sword so he can actually just teleport him because at least he'd actually be able to move and attack. I just I don't know. I just got a bad feeling. Problem is, I I should have saved during the setup phase. In all honesty. I was too confident for my own good. I think I'll be able to. Like, I think I'll be able to. Um, to salvage. Salvage the deployment at the beginning. I might have to just sacrifice my Earth Golems, which is gonna suck. Yeah, because the cannons are gonna shoot me, and I'm gonna lose a bunch more units. I just realised this now. I'm probably gonna lose at least one more Dwarf Lord. If not two, and even if we do, we will win this. There's no problem. There's no doubt that we'd win the battle, but we're gonna have lost most of our units, a lot of my decent units, and purely through my own mistakes. Um, oh, of course. Excuse.
excuse me. Sorry about that, folks. Right. Cannonball goes off. Yeah, I'm... I think I'm pretty much gonna have to redo this. I'm not happy with how this is going. It's not going well at all. Yeah, I'm... Even if I could win this, I'm pretty sure I could win this, but I'd have so few units left it wouldn't be worth it. So... Question is... Yeah, I think that's the best thing that I can do right now. And just get out to the main screen. Uh, so, folks... This is how it is, unfortunately. Um, I made some really bad tactical errors, I'm not going to lie. I messed up quite badly. I should have deployed more to one side, I think. I should have also focused on test teleporting units. Uh, I, made, I made a couple of really bad errors in timing decisions that didn't work out the way I wanted it. So I think what we're going to have to do is go back to the game, look to that battle and try a different approach. I'll probably have to focus on teleporting. Or not even if I don't even teleport, just try and summon some units and just chuck the summons. I could try and activate the earth element, like the not the earth elemental, but the um the, the iron golem, though I don't know how I would manage that. I don't think I have any weapons that reach that far unless I chuck a fireball. But then I'd have to expose my mate on the front lines. Ugh. Well, that's for next time anyway, folks. I've been Cornish Knight. If you have liked, please press the like button. If you wish to subscribe, please press the subscription button. You can follow me on Twitter. You can follow me on Steam and leave a comment in the comment section. I'll get back in contact with you. This has been Age of Fear 3, and I've been Cornish Knight and my poor attempt to play it. I shall see you all next time. Goodbye.